The NFL has anti-black overtones. This is not new information, but apparently when you won't back down from addressing those issues, you might lose your job. That's also not surprising, but let's break this down. What's up everybody and welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And then if you feel so inclined, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Jackie Ray TV. Now in an interview we might have missed during the Super Bowl week, there was a question and answer period with Commissioner Roger Goodell. He touched on a bunch of different topics and pretty much had an answer for everything. That was until NFL Network reporter Jim Trotter had enough of the superficial questions and decided to ask some real ones. Trotter asked Adele a similar question to the one he asked last year about the fact that there are zero black executives in the NFL media newsroom and zero on the network's news desk, meaning editors who make decisions about the coverage. It's a truthful and very fair question. And give Jim Trotter credit for pointing out the obvious and reminding Goodell about the NFL's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, which should extend beyond coaching staffs and team front offices, while the league's own data shows that 60 to 70% of NFL players are black. Among those who decide how players are covered by the league-owned media group, there is no one who looks like them at the table to influence content on how their stories are told. Godell's response? I'm not in charge in the newsroom. That is a definition of a lame answer, especially since the NFL Network is not independent of the NFL. It's just another branch of it, which means your $130 million salary puts the NFL Network under your commission umbrella. But instead of owning up to their continued lack of diversity, they simply got rid of the person who was tired of seeing it. Totter announced on his social media that this will be his final week, saying, quote, this will be my final week with the NFL Media Group. I was informed over the weekend that my contract is not being renewed. I thank the NFL Network and NFL.com for lessons learned and affirmed over the last five years. I love the professional call out. That years of lessons learned and affirmed just means that time and time again, you have shown you have no intention of moving away from the racist ideals that have plagued the NFL since its conception. While I applaud Trotter for his stance, I am not sure how he expected this to go. When you point out the lack of seasoning in the food at the table that was built to exclude you, do you think they're going to suddenly grab the paprika and spice things up? No, they're going to do what they do best and just get rid of you. I really hope Jim Trotter knew this would be the outcome and he was prepared for it. And I also hope part of his preparation was teaming up with like-minded individuals and building our own table. But what do you think about the NFL ducking its head in the sand to avoid the obvious? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray and thanks for watching The Fumble.